Are you trying to get your money back and can't on this episode of Title Tuesdays? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today's topic, we're talking about all of you out there that have tried to get your money back from a title company and you can't. And there are so many reasons that unfortunately we are not able to release clients money because you have to remember, let's get back to basics. As a title company, we are an independent third party. I am not a real estate attorney. I cannot make the determination as to whether you followed through on your contract or your buyer followed through on the contract or worst case, they did not follow through and you're looking to put a claim on their deposit. You are more than entitled to put a claim on a deposit. And if you're a buyer, you are more than entitled to get your money back. But all parties must agree. And we have this argument all of the time with clients. We have this argument all of the time with real estate attorneys that say, well, they didn't comply with the contract and they forfeited their, they forfeited their deposit. And you have to remember, forfeiting a deposit is not automatic unless there are specific instructions to the title agent in the contract that if you do not comply with A, your money will be automatically released to a certain party. And that's the language a lot of investors use in, in the contract. But you have to remember, as a title company, we would love nothing more than to give the person the money that is entitled to receive it. But our hands are tied with our license. We have a license to hold escrow and we are an unbiased third party to the transaction, which means we do not represent client A and we do not represent client B. We represent the transaction. So if you have a valid dispute, what options do you have? Well, the first one is to negotiate a release of escrow. If you can call the party that feels they have a claim to your money and you can do, convince them to do a release of escrow, maybe settle. Maybe if there's a $5,000 deposit, you give them $1,000 and you keep $4,000. That is the best case scenario that you can reduce your, your exposure, you can reduce the amount that's gonna be due, and you negotiate a settlement of escrow. You get that in writing, you send it over to the title company, and we'll be more than happy to follow those written instructions. The second case is you hire an attorney. Now, we all know the attorneys are going to charge you up front to handle that and write a letter. Once the letter goes out from the attorney, sometimes then the settlement will happen. What if you cannot get a settlement? Your third and final option is not sending it to Freck. We are not governed by Freck as a title company. That is for real estate brokers that have an escrow account that are holding money. They can do what's called an escrow dispute with the Department of Real Estate and, and the Florida Real Estate Commission, and they will have a hearing to determine who is entitled to that money. With a title company, we are not that lucky. The last option is we have to submit the money to the court registry and you would have to either go to small claims court if it's below the threshold of small claims court or to regular court and sue the other party to receive your money back. And unfortunately, as painful as that sounds, I wish I had a better answer for you. So I hope this episode helped you to understand escrow deposits and how they get released. Proper planning today are going to prevent problems later. We've spoke about in many, many videos where we talk about following your contract deadline. Make sure if you are going to cancel the contract, you cancel within your contingencies, whether it's your inspection contingency, your loan contingency, make sure you cancel that contract in well enough time in writing to all parties on both sides within your time frame in order to be eligible to receive your money back. We just had one where we had to call a seller who decided she did not want to release the escrow. I had to get on the phone and explain to her that we are not Freck because she used to be a real estate agent. And she said, well, I'm going to let Freck deal with it. And I had to educate her on this exact process that Freck does not determine that. I was able to pull a copy of the buyer's loan application from the lender, pull a copy of their loan denial, prove to her that it was within the loan approval period. She had 
an argument with the real estate agent that was representing the buyer. She felt he was doing something wrong, but I explained to her that this is not his money. This is the money of the buyer, the buyer that was denied financing for whatever reason within their rights in the contract. So she was very satisfied that I called her, I explained that to her, and she came in and signed the release giving the money back to the buyer and everyone was happy. So that's what it's about here. We need to make sure you, you properly plan today to prevent those problems later, to make sure that you are following your contingencies in the contract is the best advice I can give you, whether you're a real estate agent or you're a consumer. If you're a consumer, please do not rely on your real estate agent. Make sure you understand your contingencies in the contract. Although they will educate you and they, they are um, going to let you know to follow these, these timelines within the contract, do not rely on that. Make sure you're protecting your money. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. Don't forget to subscribe below. You can also text in to be one of our VIPs. VIP access gets early release of our videos before we even release them to the public. So it's very important. Pull out your phones, pause the video, and text the word TITLE, T-I-T-L-E, to 31996. And you are going to get access to our VIP video list. This is going to get our videos landed to your cell phone every Monday as opposed to Tuesday. And you're going to get pre-access to many other items that we send out before the public even sees it. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.